Prevalence of both heart failure and chronic kidney disease, CKD, are increasing. Hence, heart failure in chronic kidney disease is seen more often. Presence of CKD in heart failure increases morbidity and mortality. Though there is increasing use of evidence-based drug and device therapy in heart failure patients in general, those with CKD have not been benefited well. The Universal Definition and Classification of Heart Failure published in 2021 classifies heart failure as follows. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, HFREF, is defined as heart failure with a left ventricular ejection fraction of 40% or less. Heart failure with mildly reduced ejection fraction, HFMREF, is heart failure with left ventricular ejection fraction from 41 to 49%. Heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, HFPEF, is heart failure with left ventricular ejection fraction of 50% or more. CKD is defined as abnormalities of kidney structure or function present for more than 3 months with implications for health. A more detailed definition is persistently reduced estimated glomerular filtration rate EGFR of less than 60 ml per minute per 1.73 meter squared or at least one marker of kidney damage for more than three months. The markers of kidney damage include albuminuria, urine sediment abnormalities, histological or structural abnormalities detected on imaging. History of kidney transplantation is also included among markers of kidney damage. Significant albuminuria is albumin excretion rate of 30 mg per 24 hours or more and albumin creatinine ratio of 30 mg per gram or more. A few subgroups for heart failure in CKD have been described. They are HFPF in non-dialysis CKD, HFRF in non-dialysis CKD, HFPF in dialysis dependent CKD, HFRF in dialysis dependent CKD and heart failure in kidney transplant patients. Evidence for treatment with major groups of medications used in mild to moderate CKD with heart failure have emerged from general population studies in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction HFREF. Beta blockers have been shown to improve outcomes in patients with HFREF in all stages of CKD. But those with severe CKD were excluded in studies on angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, and mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists as expected. Yet, they have been useful in those with mild to moderate CKD and heart failure. Of course, close monitoring of renal status and a special watch for hyperkalemia is needed. Angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor therapy has been used successfully in randomized trials in patients with EGFR as low as 20 ml per minute per 1.73 meter squared. Treatment with sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitor SGLT2 improved mortality and hospitalization in patients with HFREF and CKD stages 3 and 4 having EGFR more than 20 ml per minute per 1.73 meter squared. Caution has to be exercised while using high dose combination diuretic therapy often unavoidable in heart failure with CKD. They have the risk of worsening renal function and electrolyte imbalances. Intravenous iron therapy is another important aspect of treatment in patients with heart failure and CKD. High dose iron has been shown to reduce heart failure hospitalization by 44% in patients on dialysis. Improved symptoms have been noted in heart failure in stage 3 CKD. Another important aspect is cardiac resynchronization therapy 
ഇൻ എലിജിബിൾ പേഷ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് ഹെഫ്രഫ് ആൻഡ് സി കെ ഡി ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഷോൺ ടു റെഡ്യൂസ് മോർട്ടാലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റലൈസേഷൻസ് ഇൻ പേഷ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് ഹാർട്ട് ഫെയിലിയർ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റേജ് ത്രീ സി കെ ഡി പെരിറ്റോണിൽ ഡയാലിസിസ് ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ പേഷ്യൻസ് വിത്ത് സിംറ്റമാറ്റിക് ഫ്ലൂയിഡ് ഓവർലോഡ് ടു ഇംപ്രൂവ് സിംറ്റംസ് ആൻഡ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റലൈസേഷൻസ് അൾട്രാഫിൽട്രേഷൻ is another useful option to remove excess fluid in heart failure patients on hemodialysis caution is needed to avoid hypotension due to excessive removal of fluid a multidisciplinary approach combining cardiology and nephrology services is needed for optimal management of heart failure in patients with ckd of course it is a usual decision in multi system ailments in medical practice thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video